go outside to have more space and you can try different techniques and I will try to assist you. So what is the principle behind it? donning, correct donning? The rule is don aseptically and the principle is to minimize contamination in the clean room on our garments, on the product. And that principle is what we want to keep in mind when we have a look at different techniques. It starts already when we when we open the pack to try to minimize any contamination, which might mean to wear gloves when dining, and to, for example, disinfect gloves after we open the pack, because there really is but the outside might be contaminated. So that would be an important step where we disinfect our garments. While taking it out of the packaging, we have different garments. Some are prepared in a special way, some are not, which is the bigger challenge then. We try to touch them only on the inside. We try to avoid touching our undergarments or any furniture or the cloth. And then we have the first challenge that, um, if that's a, a large, it's very long and it's closed. So we try to open the zipper without contact on the rest of the overall. And this is again one technique, which is not the perfect technique. I take the overall on the inside here, grab my right leg, right leg. So I get inside the overall. Collect the material, take care that the outside doesn't turn inside, grab the left leg, we also call it overall origami, grab the left arm and collect all the material here, take it in my left hand. And grab the right sleeve and then I'm completely confused <laughs> <laughs> so what's the advantage um, it's quite compact um, and I'm only touching it on the inside now this is a critical step for the aseptic donning um, to protect my, my thumbs from contaminating it with my, with my um, food when I step into the overall I did some uh, yoga this morning to be flexible and then uh, step in overall. And then to continue with the sleeves, I concentrate on one side after the other to always take control of what I'm doing, of what happens. And you see, don't wear ties as undergarment. <laughs> and this is a critical part of that technique, it's hard to take control of the second side because it tends to turn inside. To close the zip, we need a second hand because we need some tension. But there is a simple, simple trick um, to just cross your legs and then stretch and you have some tension close it without holding against that zip. Then with a the mirror you can close the button and have a look if everything is covered completely. It's not my preferred technique, but I think it's the most confusing technique. <laughs> <laughs> How about the degowning? Pardon? How about the degowning? How about the degowning? That's also a question we had already. Yeah. Um, depending on, I mean in the aseptic area, probably you will take a, a sterilized new overall. But anyway, it's also maybe in some, some productions a matter of avoiding contaminating myself from product. So again, the same <coughs> thing is applied. I try not to touch the outside and try not to touch the floor and um, my undergarments. So I would open the overall, remove the first pair of gloves, then open, open the overall and I try to Take the overall only at the end of the sleeve.
and take control of what happens with the rest of the overall edit um, on the inside of the overall here. And again, I have control of what happens with my legs and with my sleeves. You know, if we're gonna use the same uh, suit, yeah, do we need to hang it or do we need to uh, put that in the basket in a certain manner? If you re re reuse it? Yeah, because we reuse the same, even though it's a sterilized one, okay. we reuse the same okay. uh, suit. Okay. So do we need to hang it or do we need to put them in the basket? What's the concept? Mostly it's, it's hung on a, on, a, on a hook, on a okay. um, bar. But even there, it's it's it has an advantage if the bar is fixed there because yeah. otherwise you take it from there and you you fix it here and you wipe the floor. Okay. So if the bar is fixed, you can you cannot touch the floor. You just put it there. Okay. If you if you only I mean if you 